before we go into the shop, I want to show you what equipment we're starting with. Our alignment system starts with two targets that are freestanding and sit on the floor. They have measured increments that start at zero where they meet in the middle and 12 inches out on the end. These will be used to measure the drive axle alignment. System also includes two bars with straps to hold them on the tire. The bar has flashlight batteries, double uh, A's in the top, one switch that turns it on. There is a laser shooting out of this target and there's a laser shooting out of this end. The two lasers form a great big framing square. The whole system is based on a concept of a framing square. The second bar would be mounted on the other side of the same axle. So we box the axle. The system also includes a digital level that's used for measuring caster and camber, frame angles, driveline angles, and whatever. I'll show you how that's used. It comes with an assortment of alignment shims for the different types of suspensions and batteries. I never ship anything without the batteries in them. And a calibration tool for calibrating the lasers to make sure that everything is aimed the way you want it to aim. You have an optional storage cabinet that some shops like to use. And it also comes with a carry bag that uh, all the system will fit into. The whole system mounted in the bag weighs about 34 pounds, so you're totally portable. It comes with an operations manual, which describes how to align vehicles, how to operate the laser system, how to calibrate it. And in the back of it includes worksheets to fill out as you're doing alignments for trucks, trailers, single drives, tandem drives and has specifications of what we would like to see the alignment set to for all the different configurations. This sheet also gives you hints on how much to turn the tie rod to change toe and how much of a shim to put in to adjust the lasers to get your desired results. So all the handicap uh, helps are there. Comes with a manual that I wrote on how to align trucks, what causes tire wear, what causes handling problems, what you're looking for and how to fix it. In addition to all of these on-site supports and a training video on how to use the system, it also has a 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week tech line that will be answered by a technician who's used the equipment and knows what he's doing. So you won't be talking to some guy trying to refer out of a book. You'll be talking to somebody that's been in the grease and wants to know how to fix it. Okay? Calibration of the system is very simple. It uses a 964 Allen wrench, and we'll demonstrate how to do that a little later. In addition to all of this, if you're going to do oversized tires, now the standard 22.5, 24.5 size truck tires, this system will handle just fine. This system can go down to a 16 inch rim simply by shortening up the strap and changing which eyelet you hook into. But if you go to large tires like on an oversized crane with tires almost as tall as you are, there are extension bars that will bolt right on to this bar in the black holes that are pre-mounted and, and blocked. And these extension bars bolted on will allow you to do oversized tires. Okay, So the same kit can go all the way down to a pickup truck and all the way up to a Grove crane. In addition to the tech support, the manuals, and the video, there is also a software package that can be purchased and put into your shop computer that you can load the data from your alignments into and it'll keep track of all the alignments you do and produce nice computerized generated reports for you. If you're going to do a trailer with this system, you have three choices on how you're going to set up your measurements. The lasers will mount on the trailer axles just like they would on a tractor. The question is where are you going to place your targets? If you want to use these targets and you do a trailer while it's hooked up, you can drive the trailer straight into the garage, put these targets against the drive tires, and align the trailer tires to the drive tires. You're all done. If you choose to do it unhooked, you can bring the trailer in, disconnect the trailer, and set these on the floor even with the side of the trailer at the front of the trailer. And you can use the lasers to position them. I'll show you how to do that in the garage. So you can do it disconnected. If you have tanker type trailers, sometimes the side of the trailer is difficult to get to and people will want to do a lot of disconnected trailers. In that case, we have a pin gauge. This center piece mounts on the fifth wheel pin and you have targets 
that will slide onto the center piece and lock on with snap pins. You have a second bar that mounts on the other side. Now you have targets on either side of the trailer centered off the fifth wheel pin and you can line your trailer axles to the pin. All three of those systems work very well. Just depends on which way fits your operation better. The first step in using the system is you got to calibrate it. To do that, we're going to use the flat surface on top of our storage cabinet. Lay both lasers down with the eye bolts up. You can use the lockdown clamps to hold them in place. Turn the lasers on. They'll shoot across the room and hit an object. The further away you shoot, the more accurate your calibration is. You want to shoot at least the length of the vehicle you're measuring. If the two lasers are above and below each other like they are in this example, you have three adjustment screws at the front end of the bar. The middle one is the pivot. The front screw will raise the laser up. The rear screw will pull the laser down. I'm going to attempt to raise this laser up by tightening this screw up. When they become a single dot, you can pivot them away from each other and then pivot them back together. When they become a single dot, you're calibrated. The first step in the calibration process for tow is to understand that the right tow target has all the increments on it to measure tow, and the left tow target merely has a crosshair on it that you use to zero out on. So I'm going to mount the right target on the right side of the truck, and we'll get started in the process. We hang it across the tire, bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim, front of the bar at the front of the rim. Now we're going to set up the left laser as a reference. We hang it against the side of the tire. The strap should be at about 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim, the front of the bar at the front of the rim. Then you shift the laser forward or back until the laser is on the vertical thin line. It doesn't have to be on the crosshair, but on the vertical line. This zeroes it. Now this bar and the laser coming out of it is a framing square, a right angle system. The bar and the laser on the other side shooting back is also a framing square, a right angle system. Now if you have two right angles and there's no toe in or toe out between the bars, then these two lasers should shoot zero, zero. If one of them's on zero and you have toe out, the return laser will be in front of zero. If they have toe in, the return laser will be behind. So by zeroing this laser, I can go to the other side and tell what the toe is. And I walk to the other side and I can look at the laser. On this side, it's showing me about a sixteenth of an inch of toe out. Now to check the accuracy of this, I take the lasers off and switch them side to side. So that laser comes over here, this laser goes over there. They're shooting now across the front side of the tires. And whatever reading I got here, I should get the opposite reading here. This is a 16th towed out. When I reverse them, I should get a 16th towed in. I'll check that now. The right bar is now going on the left wheel. Once again, strap at 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim, front of the bar at the front of the rim. The laser shooting across in front of the tires. I take the bar to the other side, laser on the vertical thin line, go back over here and I can read the toe. It's now a sixteenth of an inch towed out. This unit happens to be very well calibrated. If calibration is required, once you've calculated how much you need to adjust, you adjust it by putting the wrench in the hole in the cap and turning an Allen wrench that will adjust the laser on the opposite side. That's calibration of tow. Details of it are covered in the video and in the operations manual. All right, the next step, we've gone through calibration, we've gone through why we're aligning trucks, we've talked about tire wear and handling, now we want to know how to measure a truck. The first step in measuring a truck is to make sure you've got the vehicle in a position that's accurate for measurement. If you bring it up in a sharp turn, the axles walk through the turn and they're not accurate. If you stomp on the brakes, it spreads the toe on the front end. If you back the vehicle up, everything shifts in the wrong direction. So we want to drive the truck in straight, roll it to an easy stop, and once you're stopped, set the parking brake so it doesn't move. Don't jack it up, don't move it. Now we're going to measure. We start 
by putting a target against the bottom center of the steer tire with a zero measurement against the tire. Take that up there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hang the laser on the drive axle to get a measurement. So I'll take the laser, grab the straps, put it against the tire, and then put the strap over the top of the tire. Now, the strap should be down at about 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. The front of the bar should be about even with the front of the rim. The bottom bar should be about even with the bottom of the rim. Turn the laser on and then adjust it up or down until the laser hits the target. On this side we have a three inch measurement. Now there's one more thing I need to check before we move to the other side. I need to make the first measurement to see if this axle is off center. So if I can borrow your tape, put the tape against the frame, hold it with your finger, bend it down and sight down the outside of the side wall of the tire. And this one is at 31 and 3 quarter inches. Now if the other side matches that within a quarter of an inch, the axle is in the center enough to be happy with it. If it's more than a quarter inch off, we'll adjust the center before we can move on. Now we're going to move around to the other side. To get started measuring the rears, we've got the laser set up on the other side shooting to the front. We now need to set the laser up on this side shooting to the front. So if somebody put this against the steer tire with a zero measurement against the tire. You take the laser, kind of like a kid in a swing. Put it against the side of the tire. Bring the strap over the top. Bring your straps down to 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim. Front of the bar at the front of the rim. Turn the laser on and tilt it up or down until the laser hits the target. Now on this side, you can see we've got 3 and a half inches. Now we need to finish measuring the off-center to make sure that's correct. So if I can borrow your tape, put it against the frame, hold it with your finger, bend it down, and I've got 31 and 3 quarter inches here. We had 31 and 3 quarter over there. So this axle is in the center. That side laser measurement measured 3 inches. This side measures 3 and a half. So this axle is going to the right a half inch in the length of the truck, which is right where we'd like it. It pushes the truck to the left. Now we need to measure the other axle to see where it's going. Put it against the tire, put the strap over the top. You want your straps at 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, front of the bar at front of the rim, bottom of the bar, bottom of the rim then tilt it up or down until the laser hits the target. Now this one's reading about three and a quarter inches. We need to move to the other side and we'll see what the measurement is over there. Before we do that, we should check the off-center. We want to make sure that the axles are in the middle of the truck. And on this side we've got 29 inches. So we'll go to the other side and see what we've got over there. Alright, now we're going to move the lasers forward on this side of the truck to the second axle. You notice if you pick it straight up, it comes right off. Put the bar against the tire, strap over the top. Make sure you're 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim. Front of the bar at the front of the rim. And then tilt it up or down until the laser hits the target. We have 2 and 3 quarter inches on this side. On the other side, we had 3 and 1 quarter inches. So this axle is going a half inch to the right. And we want it a half inch to the left. So this axle is thrusting wrong. Now we need to finish the off-center measurement to make sure that that's not confusing us. So if I can borrow your tape, we'll measure from the frame to the outside of the tire. The other side was 29 inches, and this side is 29 inches. So the axle is actually centered. We're pretty much done measuring the rear end of the truck now. We know that the rear axle is properly centered and is aimed to the right a half inch like we'd like. The front axle is centered, but it's aimed a half inch right and we want it a half inch left. We're now ready to move to the front of the truck and check up there. So I'm going to take this laser, move to the front end, put the bar against the tire, strap over the top. Once again, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, front of the bar at the front of the tire, bottom of the bar at the bottom of the rim. Turn the laser on and we're using the cross shooting laser now, not the front shooting laser, so we're not worried about this target. Okay? We'll go over to the other side and we'll move that laser to the front. We take the laser off, move it up to the steer axle. Once again, putting the strap over the top, making sure you got 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock on your straps. Front of the bar, bottom of the bar. Now, once we've got this one set, we're ready to go to the other side and we can zero it out so we can see what the toe is. We have to zero the laser so we can see what the toe is. Now, if you guys come up close here, you'll see the laser's hitting this target, but it's not on the vertical thin line. 
So we move the laser forward or backward until it reaches the vertical thin line that zeroes it. Now we can go to the other side and see what the real toe is in this axle. Let's go back and see what we got. Now, the big thick line going up and down on this target is a perfect 16th in. You can see it's a little heavy on the 16th line, but the toe setting is not bad at all. Okay. Now, we're done measuring toe. It only took about two minutes. We're done measuring the rear end. There's two more things we have to check on the front end of this truck. One is the setback. To do that, we measure from the front pin on the front end of the leaf spring to the U-bolts on the axle. We compare the measurements side to side. We'd like it within a sixteenth of an inch. This is telling us if the axle is physically square into the truck or if it's mounted in there crooked. The second thing we do is we look at the caster. To do that, we look at the tapered wedges that fit between the axle and the leaf spring that set the caster of the axle. The important thing is that you should have the same wedges on both sides, not one in one way, one in the other, or one missing. As long as the wedging's the same and the setback's the same, we're ready to go on with the rest of the truck.